Now I'm not a chef, but I do love to eat, and today I'm making this super flavorful jackfruit and grits recipe in place of fish and grits because being vegan calls for you to be creative. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to follow my plant-based journey. For my ingredients, I'm using one can of young green jackfruit, some grits, some bell peppers and onions, veggie broth, and kale or spinach. The first thing we want to do is to rinse the jackfruit off really good because it can have a tangy brine taste and then tear it apart to remove the seeds if you like. They don't really bother me so I don't always remove them. You want to take your time shredding the jackfruit really good as if you were making a shredded chicken recipe. I love cooking with jackfruit just because of how versatile it is and how it absorbs the flavor. I like to experiment with my seasonings, but for today we're using salt, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder. I believe we use Italian seasoning, but you don't have to do that, but those are the main ones, especially the Cajun seasoning. This really gives it that kick and it makes it really flavorful when you add the veggie broth. Now you don't have to use a ton of seasoning when making jackfruit because the jackfruit really does absorb the flavor and you don't want it to be too salty. Y'all know I'm not the best with measuring seasonings. I just go with my gut. I go with my instincts. So you should do the same thing. Go with what you feel, however you like to season your food. That's what's best. So after I wash and dry my vegetables, I go ahead and I chop them up. Sometimes I dice them, but in this recipe, I'm just going to cut them into long slices. There's definitely probably a better way to cut these vegetables and these onions than what I'm doing, but like I said, I'm not a chef. <laughs> Now, I don't know how y'all make y'all grits, but ever since I moved to the South, I learned a couple things. So I start by heating up some water, boiling the water, and then putting in some plant-based butter. Once I get that boiling, I wanna start adding in my seasonings. Now, these seasonings might not be regular to other people, but it's really good, okay? So we use garlic powder in our grits, and sometimes I'll add some coconut milk. Don't sleep on the coconut milk. It's kind of like a heavy cream replacement and it makes the grits really creamy and a little sweet. Oh, it's just so good. I had also added in some nutritional yeast for a cheesy flavor. So I'm gonna cover that up and let that thicken and then I'm gonna start on my jackfruit. I used to saute my vegetables with avocado oil or grapeseed oil, but I'm moving to sauteing with water just for the added health benefits of not cooking with oil. So we're gonna saute our vegetables down and then add in all of those seasonings that we put in the jackfruit. And you wanna let the vegetables cook until they get soft, but you don't want them to get soggy and you don't want them to burn. So add a little bit more water when you see that it's evaporating so that your veggies don't get burnt. Once my veggies are as soft as I like, I then go ahead and I add in my very seasoned jackfruit. You wanna mix all of these together until the jackfruit gets tender and allow the vegetables to cook down a little bit more as well. In order to create a sauce to go on top of the grits, I add in veggie broth. It really brings out the flavor and the seasonings and from the jackfruit and everything that we put in the pot already. We're gonna go ahead and let this simmer for a little bit while we prep our kale or spinach, whichever you prefer. When I'm making a grits recipe, I love to add vegetables and especially a green vegetable. Kale is my favorite to add just because of how crunchy it gets. And I personally prefer the texture of kale over spinach. Once I add my kale to the skillet, I then wanna mix that all around. And I'm a little extra, I know that this is already well seasoned, but I wanna make sure that the kale is seasoned too. So I'll go ahead and I add some garlic and some onion powder. 
and a little bit more Cajun seasoning. I just don't overdo it because the Cajun seasoning does have salt in it, but it doesn't overpower it. And then I add some more veggie broth just because it gets dried out. The jackfruit doesn't have like a lot of liquid on its own. So adding the veggie broth allows the consistency to not be dry. This is perfect to me. Now for my grits, I prefer my grits to be a little bit thicker. So I did let these sit for a while so that they could get thicker. And then I plated it and voila, grits and jackfruit. You could eat this meal at any time of the day. If you try it, definitely let me know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you in the next video.